Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop elements and we're going to give portraits that professional looking glow in just one layer. Let's go ahead and take a look at my images here. As you can see, there's this beautiful picture of this girl and she has this nice glow about her. Let me go ahead and turn off the visibility layer. Now, of course, the picture was a gorgeous picture in the first place, but we just wanted to give it a little bit more of that heavenly glow. Let's go ahead and take a look at this other picture that we have here. Once again, we have that really nice looking glow. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the visibility layer there. It is is still a great photograph but then we're going to add just a little bit of that glow to it and the reason I picked these two pictures is because one is a blonde a little bit lighter and the other one is a brunette so let's go ahead and start with this one and let's go back and revert our image now you don't have to do that because you haven't already started on yours so go ahead and open a portrait image that you want to add a little bit of a glow to the next thing we're going to do is our favorite commander control J we're gonna duplicate our layer. We always like to duplicate our layer. Then we're gonna go over to our filter and we're going to add a blur. Now, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know that we love Gaussian blur. So we're gonna add a little bit of a Gaussian blur to this. Now, I can't really tell you the exact number for the radius because it's gonna depend on the photograph. But what we wanna do is we want to adjust our radius to where you can barely see the details of the person in the picture. You can make out that she has some eyes and nose and there's her mouth, but you really can't make out a whole lot else. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click OK. The only other thing that we need to do now is change our blending mode. We're gonna go from normal and we're going to select screen. And there we have it. We have that nice beautiful glow. Now that's a little bit too overdone. So what I like to do is I like to dial down the opacity. So I'm gonna start at about 50% and then I'm going to dial it up a little bit and I'm at about 52% and I really like that glow. So in order to double check that, I'm gonna turn off my visibility layer. There's the original and there's my nice glow. Now, as you can see, the eyes became just a little bit hazy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a brush right over here. We're going to select our default colors right there and pick black. Then for our brush size, we're gonna go over to the brush settings. We're gonna make sure that the hardness is dialed all the way down to 0%. Then we're gonna take our brush over the eye and we're going to adjust the size till it's just slightly larger than the eye. Now, if you have the keyboard shortcuts in America, they are left and right bracket keys. Those are just above and to the left of the return key. If there are other keyboard shortcuts in other countries. You'll just have to look those up from the Adobe website. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go over here and we're going to add a layer mask. Now those layer masks are anything from elements nine and above. And then we're just going to give a quick swipe over the eye with the black brush. And as you can see there, we returned her eyes to what they originally were on the original photo but we kept a lot of the heavenly glow here. Once again, I'm gonna turn off the visibility layer there. And as you can see, we added just a little bit of glow to her skin tones. Let's go ahead and jump on over to this next picture here. This one's by Frank Kovalchek, and the one previous to that was from TIB Chris. And I wanna thank them for letting me use their images with the Creative Commons license on Flickr. I'm going to edit and revert my image. You do not have to do that, but go ahead and open one of your portrait pictures. Now, what did we do before? We did a Commander Control J. That's the same thing that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go over to Filter. But as you notice in this one, when I go to Blur and Gaussian Blur, I have to add a lot more radius to mine to be able to get her blurry. So mine's at about 16.6 .6 now, and I'm gonna select OK. Then once again, we're gonna go over and we're gonna change our blending option. We're gonna to go to screen and it's gonna give it that really nice looking glow to it. But then on this one, we don't necessarily have to dial this one all the way down to 50%. We can go ahead and bump that up just a little bit more because she is a little bit lighter. So we're at almost 61% right there. Now the next thing that we need to do, because she's lighter, if I go and add a layer mask and put a nice black layer mask, this is gonna look really bad. So what we need to do is we need to change a little bit of our brush settings. We still want to have our brush set at zero hardness, like that. 
but we're going to take our opacity and we're going to take that down to about 5% because we want to gently add on this one unlike the other one. The reason we're doing that is because this one doesn't have quite as much contrast on this picture. Now we need to go ahead and up our brush size just larger than the eye and then we need to go over here and add our layer mask. Now once we have black selected I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint on that eye just a little bit because if we add too much of a layer cut through then it's going to look pretty awful if we do that. The other thing that we have is is that the teeth are starting to be get a little bit blurry right here so I'm gonna go ahead what I'm adding is a cut through or it's cutting through the mask and letting the original part of the photo break through so as you can see this is kind of more original eye right here and original teeth right there so when I select the visibility layer right there you can see that we added some of the glow but the teeth and the eyes they're a little bit closer to what the original one was. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, pass my link, and share it with your friends. Cheers!